course we all have our own opinions on people, especially people in the public eye. But by using her status as a psychotherapist, many people will consider her assumptions and findings to be true. If she has faith in her beliefs and trusts the source or the sources of the information she receives about Harry and Meghan, she is entitled to speak openly and online about her thoughts on the couple. But she should do it in her own name, not under the guise of being a psychotherapist. Her actions are highly unprofessional and should not be allowed here on YouTube. I don't discuss things unless I truly believe what I'm saying. You know, I, that's why if I can't find any sort of, not just about the evidence, but it's almost that I, I'm not sure. Um, so, I, so I kind of guide things accordingly. It is indeed a free country. And as such, we are all able, as creators, to speak on such matters on our YouTube channels. My main objection to this therapist is that she pushes her own agendas and falsifies incidents that have been reported about Harry and Meghan. She has no insider information that she can speak on. She merely gets her sources from the internet, the same as everybody else does. Now, with that being said, do I believe these children exist? Now, uh... it's very interesting to note her demeanor when she starts speaking on the children and also on Harry and Meghan themselves. She becomes very uncomfortable. She, her eyes start darting around. So, I mean, as somebody that I should have, I would have assumed has studied body language, her body language gives her away 100%. Uh, the first child, I do believe, does however I, I will go into what i'm why i believe what i believe i do not believe that he is living with both of them her conspiracies on the two children of harry and Meghan are just that conspiracies to deny their parentage on such a public forum is abhorrent to me especially when it comes from such questionable sources. I've slowed down this video because I want you to see just how uncomfortable she looks when she is trying to sell these fake stories to you. Is this the face and demeanour of somebody who truly believes what they're saying? Is there any conviction behind her words? I think not. I think she's just a hater through and through. As for the second child, um, I don't believe that she is legitimate. Let's just say that and I will explain more within that. So let's take it back to a little bit in the beginning of 
have touched on this before. I believe that Megan has not given birth to these children. I find it quite hurtful to watch and to listen to her twisted narratives about a young lady that she has never met and never will meet. What gives her the right to question Megan's motherhood? Now the reason is because, like I said, I have watched many, many, many hours of footage, of photographs of how she behaves, how Harry has behaved um, in regards to her being pregnant. Now, most of the time, generally speaking, a man is very protective of his wife, and even more so when she's pregnant. And if you watch some of the footage of when Harry and Meghan are together, he he isn't. He is not protective of her. Two years ago, she was called out on her integrity as a psychotherapist. I've not dug too deeply into it, but here's a short clip of how she responded at the time. Proof of me doing whatever it is that I'm being accused of doing. There's no proof whatsoever. Um, and that doesn't matter. Um, I have spent all last week going online, deleting comments, removing people from my YouTube channel um, that have decided to um, just be pretty cruel, to be honest. And you mean like you are to Meghan and Harry? Yeah? Um, why? Why should I expect it? You know, at the end of the day, I created this channel with um, someone and it was always going to be about helping people. Where? When? How? I don't see that. Whilst that may have been your initial intention, greed got in the way. You realised how you could capitalise by using this channel. And it was totally greed based. And that's when your integrity as a psychotherapist was called into question. You know, so the hardest thing is up until this incident happened, I, I had the odd comment that would come through regarding Meghan Markle. Um, and those I don't really care about, you know, because at the end of the day, I, that I did expect that. But it's been very few, you know, because most people that see what I do see that I'm, you know, I'm trying to help people and support people. No. Stop kidding yourself, Missy. Nope. You're not here to support people. You're here to slag off Megan. So to suddenly then be thrust into this drama of not only my credentials being called into question, to be accused of something that I absolutely haven't done. OK, I'm not going to do a deep dig dive into what she was accused of um but all i can say is that i know she's deceiving people it's obvious that she's deceiving people she's not a very nice person because she has made quite a lot of money to date on the back of insulting megan and Harry. So no, I'm not going to do a deep dive and consequently feel sorry for your ass because guess what? I don't. I don't feel sorry at all. Myself. I know who I am. You know, and I and I hope that my videos have spoken for themselves. You know, I've said before, I, I don't take a penny from this channel. I can absolutely prove that. <laughs> I just had to put this picture up to see if her nose had grown. <laughs> One of my main contentions with this woman is her continued misdiagnosis 
of Meghan and Harry. So here I have put up um, a diagnosis by true professionals who have met Harry, who have met Meghan. Something that Little Miss Therapist here hasn't done. But unfortunately, she's just a, a horrible person, in my opinion. She's just a horrible behaviour. She has, in my opinion, and I know that a lot of you share that with me, she has infiltrated the family whilst abandoning and lying and trashing her own family. And then she's, in a sense, aided the one of the members of that family to uh, and alienated them now i'm not saying that harry isn't responsible for his behavior of course he is however as a psychotherapist i also understand narcissistic abuse and i know how you can behave in a way that you never thought you would So started with Prince Andrew I think that she started that ball rolling with him and I think when he rejected her which from what I've been told she tried a similar stunt with him 
and he rejected her, then refused to take any of her calls. Um, Fergie was aware of it, so just want to put that in there. Um, and I think that was when it became almost like narc revenge. It was like, I'm getting in. You know, you've, you've turned me down, and so I'm, I'm getting in this channel. I've always said I don't believe that the situation with the children is real. I've always also said that I don't believe they're together. I don't believe they live in that mansion. And it's great to see that other channels are now catching up and actually saying the same thing. Um, but you know what? I think the more we all expose the lies behind these two, uh, the better. However, I will say that I don't believe that they were ever in love in the very beginning because narcissists don't know how to love. Um, they don't even know how to love themselves. They don't even know what love is. Um, all they know is is what is a gain to them. So what they can gain from that relationship. So for example, if it's monetary gain, if it's fame, if it's power, um, if it's um, the the narc need, the narc supply within them, like they need to control somebody, they need to have somebody to to kind of uh, to own, to belittle, to bully. They will they will go out of the way because obviously people that are that are private, um, like you and I, in a sense. Um, if we got into a narcissistic relationship, that's not necessarily. Uh... So it means that the Duke of Sussex is in civilian dress as he mourns his grandmother, but he will be allowed to wear his medals, which is his right, of course. The decision to allow Andrew to dress in military garb was proven controversial. The Queen's disgraced second son stepped down from public life after the furor over his friendship with... with oh, they have to get that in pedophile in there. It's like they just have to bring this up. And don't get me wrong, I don't agree with the friendship, but it just it does anger me a little bit. And I have a theory on that. I know that a lot of people have their thoughts on it and, and like I say and I don't agree with the friendship at all I think he certainly should have been more mindful of who he was having as his friends um, especially people like that but I think I think the reason why it was potentially paid, she was paid off is because not because he's guilty um, of doing I mean I, I you know it's possible that you know yes he did meet this woman but I think it was because of the Queen. I really do. I think this was just causing so much uh, stress and pressure that I wonder if, it was, if, if they'd all probably come together and said, look, just, just pay her. Just, just make it go away. You know, this is too much. I probably would suspect that Andrew has probably not been particularly, he's not behaved himself. Possibly other things were going to come out, not necessarily of him doing anything sexual but it just would have been not ideal for the monarchy because the queen always puts the monarchy first yes uh, you know the speculation that's come around that of how much it was or the reasons why in a way it's better to speculate than it is to actually have the truth come out that could damage the monarchy so i think that was potentially why i don't know but it i don't believe that he slept i don't i genuinely don't believe he slept with her the duke and duchess of sussex made the decision to step back from royal duties in february 2021 and they moved to california therefore prince harry will not be permitted to wear military clothing at any of this week this week uh, ceremonial events and if you remember this was also back in uh, when prince philip passed away because apparently i believe andrew and prince harry sort of kicked off about this and the queen was obviously at a point where she was just like well do you know what nobody wears it then which i thought was wrong it was pandering because i think it was more prince andrew that was really annoyed about this and unfortunately the the, the queen um who possibly is quite maybe a bit softer in that aspect said well you know what nobody does then you know because we don't want this to detract from my husband's funeral so whereas i'm really glad in a way that that prince charles has actually stuck to his guns and said no actually this is this is what what's going to happen
known to be proud of his military service and referred to the Queen as my commander in chief in a memorial note on Monday. Well, yeah, I've got to have my own thoughts on that too. I think, you know, I think it's what he wrote is, I, I, I just, I, I get it as, a, you know, she was his grandmother, but I just find it such poor taste that he wrote that. And it's interesting to me that he kind of wrote it after William wrote his. Um, he There was a note on, I think, Archie uh, Holes and website and it was just very basic and then to me his brother wrote something and I feel like it's almost like he had to um and I might be wrong but it felt like he had to outdo his own sort of outdo his brother um all know each other's secrets which is why dory is in there that's why nobody else is is because these are people that can be bought these are people that can be manipulated um and they all are in this together i strongly believe that and i think harry got duped i absolutely do believe that i think he got roped into this i think she manipulated it she was telling him things like you know your family are leaking things they're, they're planting stories about me and i think harry's paranoia she she played right into harry's paranoia Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't know if you feel the same as I do, but I'm just about done. I'm done with her. <laughs> At least for this time. Let me know if you'd like me to do some more because there is so much to talk about. About this therapist. This amazing therapist. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. For those of you that stay till the end, thanks a million. And uh, I'll see you very soon. You take care of yourselves out there. It's a rotten old world. Bye-bye for now.